What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make your DCS go from this to this, from this to this and as you can tell the difference in the image is absolutely phenomenal compared to the bland, very flat and boring colors of the original DCS vanilla um, we now have an absolute transformation um, as you can tell, a really clear, sharp, very colorful HDR picture um, that you see on my screen. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve the same results. So without further ado, let's get into it. We have two good inside. You're clear to disconnect the headset. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. So to make DCS look visually stunning, I would say it's a four-part problem. The first one is you just need to have relatively high settings in your actual DCS graphics settings. Now, I will put up my DCS graphics onto the screen right now, and uh, feel free to pause the video and, you know, copy the same or just use that as a reference point, but there is no way around it. The graphics settings, they just need to be relatively high. I'm not gonna go over which one specifically uh, make a huge deal to the image quality, but as you can imagine, there's a few important ones there, uh, you know, which make the whole image look a lot better with you know the, the grass and the shadows and the etc etc i'm not going to go into that that is just a prerequisite for the next three things which make dcs a look visually i think uh, pretty stunning compared to well the bland and fairly flat image of the default vanilla game even if you have very high dcs graphic settings you know the reality is you're still going to be met with something like this uh, although the gamma here is reduced maybe you'll have a slightly higher gamma so a bit more contrast but generally the colors will be kind of flat bland and boring so what you need to do um, to make dcs look visually stunning is well first of all you got to play around with the lighting and the weather uh, that's something you could do in the dcs editor and obviously sometimes it's up to the mission makers to make that part look visually uh, very appealing if you're not the one designing the mission of course um, now I'll cover the weather in the weather mod that I use um, in a separate video because I think that really transforms DCS or at least adds a whole extra layer of um, visual fidelity um, certainly in terms of the skyline but uh, the last and most important thing by far which is what we are focusing on today is reshade and reshade for those of you that don't know is a little program that you can download and I'll probably link Bogey Dope's video as to how to download Reshade and get it going to DCS. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, I just can't recommend it enough. This is absolutely transformational uh, to the DCS experience. As you could tell, it literally makes it go from this to this. Um, so with Reshade, it is a program, for those of you that don't know, um, which allows you to effectively um, tune the quality or the image within a game. It's kind of like using Photoshop uh, for a screenshot, except here all your settings are applied to the entire game. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm never going back. Um, and the, fun the brilliant thing about it is, is it's extremely customizable. In other words, everybody is going to have different needs when it comes to reshade and the sort of image quality uh, and the colors and the HDR and the sharpness, everything is just going to be completely different for different people, which is why, although I will absolutely demonstrate to you exactly the uh, settings and exactly the effects that I have applied here, um, this is not going to work for everyone. Um, partly because preferences are different and people like different things. And although what I think is a fantastic looking image, uh, which for me pops and just, you know, makes everything look phenomenal, for other people that could be oversaturated, it could be over HDR or any number of other things. But then the other thing, of course, is your monitor. And the monitor makes quite a bit of a difference uh, with your colors. And therefore, you know, what I see in my screen may appear a little bit differently when you actually watch this video. And therefore, you know, although you should absolutely maybe use my settings here as a reference point, I definitely would say you have to play around with them and you have to tune them. Because uh, the reality is that 
the image is just going to look different uh, on different screens for different people. But as you can tell here, I use the curves, DPX, levels, uh, luma sharpen, and the vibrance. And uh, some of these don't really make a huge amount of difference. For example, if I toggle vibrance off and back on, you see it's fairly subtle, but it does make a good bit of difference. And uh, it's also really good for sharpening. If you use reshade, instead of going to the DCS settings itself for sharpening, or perhaps even the NVIDIA uh, control panel, it's really good to use reshade for that matter. And you can do it basically effectively live without having to quit the game all the time. So for example, for sharpening in this image, you'll see that if I switch uh, reshade off right now. If you look at the hanger behind that maintenance hanger that's behind us, behind the SU-24 is there in the background. Just look how kind of blurry it is. Now, if I just apply reshade, you'll see everything sharpened right up, and uh, you can really tell the difference there. Uh, so it makes a huge amount of difference um, in, in my personal opinion and like I say uh, you are more than welcome to pause the video and here are all my effects uh, with all the settings here. I've messed around with it for a very very long time and this is what I think as you know uh, effectively made my game look well my personal very humble opinion pretty decent. Um, certainly compared to the default vanilla DCS. Um, some of you will probably ask whether or not there is any effect on FPS or performance. Uh, personally, I haven't noticed any, although I'm sure maybe there is some. Uh, and I'm sure if you go overboard with the effects uh, in reshape, and I'm sure it will affect performance. But whatever performance hit there is, it's so negligible that it's just silly to not use reshade. In my personal, once again, very humble opinion. Now, one thing I will mention is that if you are using Reshade, uh, I really suggest that instead of just kind of using one scene and then picking your best settings, you have to go to different lighting scenarios. You have to go from uh, what it could effectively be sort of here, relatively high sun, uh, bright conditions, and then uh, compare that to something uh, where you're flying around a sunset or sunrise where there's a lot of contrast because I guarantee you that you will find that there is no perfect scene that looks excellent with the same settings. You may find something that looks absolutely phenomenal when it's bright and the sun is, you know, uh, sitting in its highest position and then you go somewhere where it's uh, with the same settings and it's dusk or dawn and I guarantee you'll you'll just be amazed at how awful it looks because it's just way too contrasty or there's just too much saturation in there or whatever it is so you have to find a balance so in my opinion uh, I think what you should do is perhaps use the same settings that I have or you're more than welcome to you know play around with extra effects within reshade there's plenty to choose from that I don't use and uh, you can play around with them as much as you like, of course. And uh, basically go to different scenes, uh, try different lighting conditions, different clouds, um, you know, perhaps even different times of year because, you know, uh, a green grassy airfield, uh, such as this, for example, will look completely differently compared to, say, a white snowy background. And uh, again, you'll notice that in some situations, uh, for example, the fields will just be oversaturated or too green when you zoom out and you have a look at them from up high compared to, say, for example, zoomed in looking at your aircraft sitting on the ramp. So um, I think that would be uh, my suggestions to you is, first of all, if you haven't got reshade, well, you should definitely get it because I think you're missing out on some phenomenal visual fidelity. Um, certainly that could be improved on dramatically compared to the default game. Um, and also play around with lighting conditions, play around with the clouds. I think that's really important if you're designing the mission yourself, then it makes a world of difference, especially when you get rain showers, rainbows, and uh, all these kind of dramatic effects, especially with the rain. I am going to cover the weather mod that I use and uh, give you a little bit more insight into the different lighting conditions that I, I believe you should be kind of choosing or going for if possible uh, to make your DCS look a lot better uh, in another video. So um, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope it was helpful for you. And if it was, please make sure to smash the living daylight out of the like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe for future videos, especially if you want to see my next video about the weather mod that I use. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in that one. But for now, adios.